Hello, my warriors for wellness, intuitive healer Trisha Gumberg, talking about the universal month energy of February. I'm a numerologist, so I focus on the numerology, uh, like the fact that 2022 is the energy of the number six. This month, February, is the energy of the number eight. But I would be remiss if I did not add in to the energy reading that there's a Pluto return in the United States. Of course, we have the umbrella energy of the age of Aquarius. We have, um, today alone is the new moon in Aquarius. And it is the first day of the year of the tiger, reminding us uh, to, and offering us the energy of being brave. And, um, I think we need that. Okay, I, I have notes. <laughs> and as I explain, I explain the energy as umbrellas. And so um, just like a light socket, the energy is there, right? Uh, you can choose to not use it, right? It's still there you could plug something into it. Uh, you could put a hair clip in it. <laughs> you know, lots of things to do with the energy. 2022, I offered us uh, the theme of unconditional love and to really focus on that. And then last month, I had suggested that the seven from the month of December, that we focus on spiritual love or on spirit. And now we are in February. Today begins the year of the tiger. Okay, we have eight energy and the year of the tiger. Let's look at that. The eight energy, I put it together on the same page here. And uh, of course, there's other words to describe the number eight. I chose success, power, perseverance, and justice. And now the energy of the water tiger combined with the six energy of the universal year. Two plus zero plus two plus two again is a six. And I got the words power, action, ambition, and courage. And then uh, I kind of put all that energy, that, excuse, yeah, those energies together and came up with beauty in action. We're going to have to take action. Last year, the ox was a really good symbol of 2021. Uh, kind of plotting energy, right? Being cautious, uh, going slow. Uh, and the tiger, I thought of Tigger, you know, his coiled up tail and, and bounding forward, springing forward, uh, pouncing, if you will, forward. And this is the energy of the number eight. And six is also a business energy, the energy of getting it done. Um, Again, perseverance and power. And it would be really important to understand the difference between power and force. You can actually, there's a book titled that, Power Versus Force. I encourage you to read it if you're, if you're not sure what I'm saying. Um, you know, when you force someone to do something that's just not... I don't know. You want people to intrinsically choose the right thing, not always be forcing them, right? That's what you want for your children. You want them, right, to choose the right thing. And forcing them usually doesn't, <laughs> it's just not helpful. Okay, uh, my umbrella energies also. We've got the age of Aquarius over us for 2,160 years, as a matter of fact. 
That's about peace, love, joy, harmony. That's a lot of our six energy words. Humanity, spiritual liberation, respect for all people. Mm -hmm. Respect for all people. Hello. And we've got a Pluto return going on. Uh, and I wonder if, if uh, these last two years was just a glimpse of that because Pluto return, first of all, it exposes secrets and it's about economic structures. It's in the second house. The second house is finance, resources, and values. And I've been encouraging us to consider what we love and value. I've been doing that for myself. It's been very helpful. Then the month energy, going back to that, we can, um, under the umbrella of the Pluto return and the universal year energy, then a little bit smaller and only for the month, is the energy of the number eight to tap into. That's abundance and power. Uh, and I chose the word success because I think if we focus, if we focus on those things, if we focus on humanity, if we focus on respect for all people, starting with yourself, spiritual liberation, if we focus on all of those things, you, we will find success. And through my searching for and expecting what I love and value to come forward, the book, The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, came into my hands. During a seven universal month, a book titled The Seven Universal Laws of Success. <laughs> success being an eight, which is this month, I've decided and I've had help deciding that our Thoughtful Thursdays will be um, completely restructured and we will be using the time to discuss like a book club on the seven laws of the seven spiritual laws of success. Uh, I know it'll be helpful for me and so I can determine that it will be helpful for others. So if you think that you'd be interested, I believe we're even going to do it Facebook Live. We're going to come off the Zoom and do Facebook Live so that those videos are there for you to review. Uh, we're going to do ashram time for our Our meditation time and we're going to explore success and what it means and bring more of it to our lives here's to you having a very successful February I love you until next time